Hi, welcome to Ivy Scotia Kitchen. It's me, your effervescent, ever loving, and ever cooking host, Avi. Uh, we are making what I think is a great recipe, one of my favorites. I did a test run on it a couple of days ago. The family could not stop eating it. It is my southern buffalo unfried chicken on a waffle. Homemade waffle, that is. So uh, hang in there. Okay, first, uh, as always, like I said, we're going to say the Chaim. I have a nice white wine that I'm going to use here. This is from the Chosen Barrel and our friends at kosherwine.com. It's a Sauvignon Blanc Reserve. Really, really goes nice with poultry. Um, love it. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Gulei B'Yagif. Oh, that's nice. Mid-afternoon down here in sunny South Florida. Beautiful fall day. You see my yard behind me. Uh, Really, really, really is starting to cool down here. It's uh, high today at 83. <laughs> it's really getting cold. Anyway, I'm going to put the, the wine aside. Uh, just, just off camera there so that we don't uh, don't get confused. Now, I am going to start here with some beautiful filets from our friends over at Cold Foods. I have uh, turkey and I have chicken breast fillets. Now I'm doing turkey and chicken so that you can really see that it, this will work with either uh, either meat, either poultry, and it really, really works great. So you don't have to really feel like this is a chicken recipe. It could be a turkey recipe, which means if you want to kick up your Thanksgiving a little bit, you got it, or just something a little bit different. Everybody goes, where'd you get that chicken from? You go, it's not chicken, it's turkey. All right, uh, we're going to start with a quick season here, just a little bit of salt, kosher salt from up high, just very light. Remember on a kosher birds, you don't need to go too heavy on the salt because they're essentially salted and soaked ahead of time, or they have to be. And um, that's sort of like a pre-brining, which is why if you're not kosher and you really want to kick up your uh, kick up your game, get a kosher bird. And speaking of kosher birds, I'm going to put a little granulated garlic on here. These are, as I said, from our friends over at Coal Foods. So these are really the best of the best. No growth hormones, no antibiotics, uh, basically out there, uh, pastured, um, living that life that every chicken dreams of, or every turkey dreams of, of just, you know, relaxing, luxuriating, trotting around, and then we eat them. Nothing wrong with that. At any rate, uh, wearing the glove because uh, out here in the yard, I don't have the sink to wash the hands, so I wanna make sure we stay sanitary. So you'll notice, uh, Glove stays here just to turn the meat and using my other hand just to do a little bit of the light seasoning on top of the meat. Okay, again, granulated garlic. Okay, that's it. Gonna put that aside. Gloves come off. Now we're getting serious. I'm gonna take this, put this uh, right over here. Now I'm gonna make a marinade for it, a marinade, whatever you wanna call it. Just something that's uh, really gonna soak into, into this uh, really, really nicely. Now I've got right here a little bit of uh, soy sauce. I'm actually using some uh, tamari. It's organic and it's great uh, because the nice thing about it is it's gluten-free. So if you're in a gluten-free household, go for it. This is about four ounces of uh, tamari. We'll put that aside. Okay. I like to, by the way, mix things up with a fork. Okay. So into this uh, nice tamari, I'm going to take a lemon, actually the juice of one lemon, rub it down and uh, cut it in half. Very nice. And now I've got my nice little lemon juicer. The cut side goes down and then this just squeezes together. You get a beautiful squeeze of juice in here. We're going to go with half a lemon to start. Um, if we feel like we need more, well, we'll just do that other half of the lemon, put that aside for now. Okay, into here, a pinch of salt. You don't need much because the soy sauce has got, has got that uh, salt in it as well. Now I want to um, kick up this with a little bit of uh, sweetness to it to balance out that salt and the acidity of the lemon. And whoop, here we go, a little bit of honey. Okay, just take it. This is a uh, Really, really nice uh, honey from Oregon, from our friends at uh, Honey Ridge Farms. About a little dollop in there is all we're going to need. Um, this is a honey creme. Okay, just, just a balance. That's all we're looking for is a balance. 
cap goes back on and here we go just mix it up now we are not done yet my friends we are not done yet uh, I've got here a little toasted sesame oil this toasted sesame oil from De La Rosa uh, I know that some of you people have made some comments about uh, sponsors and stuff like that but hey why don't you pay to watch this and these guys are really good stuff I've had everybody and I got to tell you this is probably some of the nicest toasted sesame oil I've ever had very smooth very nice and we're just gonna put uh, a little bit of that in here about so much and uh, put that in there from De La Rosa mix it in now I'm gonna put some ginger in there and as in probably every video I've done in the past year I forget one ingredient to bring out here and guess what that ingredient was the fresh ginger so uh, I'll be right back all right that was quick I got my uh, ginger I'm gonna just uh, cut a little bit of this off here why did I have to do that because ginger should cut really pretty easily but actually because uh, this ginger what I do is I keep it in the freezer um, you know ginger if it stays for a little while it starts to get a little soft and uh, not so easy to grate you just put it in your freezer quick little pro tip for you um, take it and it grates nice and easy right in there look at that now if you want to kick this up and add a little basil to it you can or you want to add a little uh, a little garlic that's fine okay I'm going to take that, mix it in there again a little bit. Got a little bit of roasted toasted sesame seeds. They're going to go in there. Now I've got a little bit of green onion here. We're just going to cut a little bit like so. Put them in there. Okay, nice little oriental feel to it, right? Now you're saying to yourself, Avi, yes, what can I do for you? Where's the buffalo part? You said this is a southern buffalo unfried chicken on a waffle and I see an Asian mix and yes my friends you do see an Asian mix and if you wanted to stop here you could you could stop here marinate your chicken in it and really have something very special and very nice but I'm not done yet we're gonna kick it up what's that you say you want it spicy let's go here we go whoopee cayenne mothers and fathers it is cayenne pepper whoa don't breathe that in too quick. You'll be sneezing until Tuesday. We're going to just drizzle a little bit of this in here. Get some of that heat going. Okay. And mix that around. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's not good. You want more? You got it. Chipotle pepper. Or uh, a little bit of that in here. Now we're going to kick it. Mix that in. Okay. Now it's going to just swim around there and get really really happy now I'm gonna take my chicken I have one of these gallon size plastic bags the glove goes back on because as I said before I do not want to dirty my hands and then have to go in and keep you guys holding for a little bit longer to wash them so these gloves are great latex free and so on and so forth and uh, <laughs> no sponsor for the gloves so don't worry I'm not gonna plug anybody at any rate we're gonna put them in here. Take my chicken and my turkey, or my turkey and my chicken, however you like it. Put it right here into the bag. All of it goes in, like so. Beautiful. Plate goes aside, got all sorts of cooties on it. Bag goes here, glove goes to the side. Now, I don't use all of this in here, I use about three quarters or so of that. A couple of those green onions we want to put in. Oh, that is really good too. And spicy. I'm gonna just have a little wee tad bit of wine because of the spice in it. Wow. Perfect. Now, we're gonna spread our meat out. You wanna almost zip the whole bag up just as you get to the end squeeze out whatever air you can okay just leave a little opening squeeze that air out and then zip it all up and you're gonna let this sit in this marinade just let it sit there a half hour 
flip it another half hour. You can go a little bit longer if you want, um, or you can go a little bit less, whatever you want. And remember, if you don't want the spice in it, don't use it. You know, the chicken police is not gonna come, the obby police, the turkey police, nobody's coming to, uh, to, to get you. And now, we've got a waffle coming. So I'm gonna put this aside, put the sauce aside, uh, just right over here. Put this just out of the way over there. Now, our waffle. I have got some flour here. Now this isn't any ordinary flour. This is oatmeal flour. So if you really want to make this nice gluten-free, you could use a nice oatmeal flour on this and it's really going to come out nice, okay? That's about a, a cup or so. I'm going to take my waffle maker over here, turn it on so it gets going to get, uh, get heated up really nice, okay? So to this, I am going to add a few ingredients. First, a pinch of salt. There we go. Next, a little bit of baking powder. The baking powder is going to help your waffle um, kind of rise up and get a little puffy. So not too much because it'll it could taste bitter with that baking powder if you get too much in there, okay? I'm going to mix that around. Now I've got a little cinnamon, just a hint in there. You don't want to go overboard on that, okay? Mix that up nice, okay? And now we're going to take to this. I've got some sugar, brown sugar. Uh, this is about a tablespoon. I'm not going to use all of this because when you see what we do to the chicken and the waffle uh, at the end of this, you're going to say, don't make it too sweet. So I'm just going to put in uh, about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half there. Okay, we're going to mix that all up in nicely. Now I'm going to put in some almond milk. In a kosher kitchen, we can't mix dairy, which is milk, uh, and meat, which is the turkey and the chicken, uh, together. So almond milk, which is parv, which is essentially is a Hebrew word which means neutral. It's neither dairy nor is it meat. We're going to take that and just pour this in and mix it in nice and slowly, okay? So that we form a nice batter. Now you don't want this batter to be too thin, okay? You want it to be just right. Now I'm not, you can see right now it's kind of thick because I'm going to add an egg. Add a nice egg in there, and again, that egg in a kosher chicken, quick kosher uh, tip, all our eggs are checked for blood spots. We don't want any blood in the eggs uh, when we do that. If we find that, we toss it. So, just going to mix this up nice and uh, gently. Okay, again, like I said, not too much on the milk. And we're going to just get everything incorporated in there. Now, my waffle maker is heating up nicely. Now, waffles don't take too long, and if you don't have a waffle maker, what you can use, by the way, is, uh, listen, some people will use a, a grill pan. And by the way, I'm gonna do these on the grill, by the way, that's the unfried part of the turkey and the chicken is that they're grilled. Do you wanna use a grill pan at home? You can, and uh, you can use, a, some people will try to use a grill pan for a really thick waffle mix. Um, I'm not fond of it. I tried it a couple of times. It kind of falls through. I'd rather just make them into pancakes. You know, nice, easy, and so on and so forth. And by the way, this is great even just on a Sunday morning in your house. Nice, fresh made. You don't need to get the mixes with all the chemicals and preservatives and all that other uh, junk in it. Okay? And just make that. Now we're going to set that aside, let it thicken up. The waffle maker is heating up. Now I'm going to pretend that about 45 minutes went by and uh, we're going to get, whoa, there's the waffle maker there. It beeps when it's ready. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put our meat on the grill and then we're gonna get to uh, cooking our waffle. So again, glove goes on. Here we are. And we're gonna take our, take this, open up and I've got this on about a medium to medium high heat because it's not going to take a long time to cook and we want to get, we really want to get some of those nice grill marks going on this, okay? So uh, let's put, uh, now the chicken's a little bit thicker than the turkey here, so that may take just a little bit longer. Any of this reserve um, uh, marinade that you have here, what you want to do with that is very simple, zip up your bag. Put it on your plate, 
and throw it away. Along with your bad glove. Now, that's gonna go, in fact, let me show you what it looks like here real quick. I'm gonna take out the, uh, the Avi cam and we're gonna, um, gonna show you exactly what's, uh, what's going on here. Look at that, nice. You can see the edges of the meat are uh, already starting to get a little bit white, okay? We've got a nice, nice grill thing happening there. Like I said, the uh, turkey's gonna finish before the chicken. So now I've got my waffle maker all set and ready to go. A uh, little quick cooking spray on it. Just wanna make sure nothing sticks. Now we're gonna take, starting in the center, and pour in our waffle batter so that it spreads out. And when we close the lid, by the way, this is gonna really just uh, spread out. And uh, you know what? If you don't have enough batter here to do the full round on this uh, waffle, Bel Belgian waffle, waffle? Belgian waffle. Say that 10 times really fast, Belgian waffle. Um, if you don't have enough batter to really fill out because you, you underestimated or something like that, no big deal. Nobody's gonna know, okay? Close the lid and that's just gonna stay on. And with this waffle maker, as soon as it's ready, it's gonna beep. So this is going, that's going, uh, and now you've just gotta kinda babysit it. Now what I like to do, by the way, I'm gonna show you here really quick, is um, I like to take a little bit of the uh, chipotle peppers and just right on top here, okay, just a, a little bit right on top. Now, this is hot, so be careful with your hands here. You may want to go up a little bit higher um, on that, okay? So there we go, and actually a little bit more on this guy right here, okay? Now we're gonna give these a flip. Let's see. Nice, look at that grill marks right on there. Beautiful, okay? And lid goes down. Okay, I'm gonna let these cook up. I'm gonna let the waffle get done. And uh, in just about uh, the time I can snap my fingers, I will be back with the final and uh, product and we'll assemble it together and I'm gonna show you exactly what we pour on top of it. And it's uh, really gonna be great. All right, they are done. Everything is done. The, uh, the waffle, there you go. You heard it's beeping, just finished. We're gonna take that out. Now, my hands are kind of asbestos hands, as they say. Uh, I could grab them. It's very, very hot. What you uh, may want to do to get the waffle out, because it's pretty sure, particularly if you have a, a non-stick coating in there, use little chopsticks. Chopsticks the, uh, makes, makes a great way to get them out. Now, we're going to assemble this. Let the waffle cool. Uh, the uh, turkey and the chicken from our friends over at Cold Foods have been sitting out here uh, cooling. And I got to tell you, I cheated a little bit and took a little taste, and wow not just the uh, spice and the marinade that's in there, but the um, really the quality of this meat is phenomenal. Um, very uh, soft, flavorful. You really get a real turkey taste. I mean, you know, you really get that, um, that, 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 that flavor of the meat really, really comes through and really balances nicely with all this uh, spice. So again, thanks again to our friends over at Cold Foods. Now, for the uh, chicken, you can just, uh, just slice it up a little bit here, like so. Or listen, if you want to serve it, just one big uh, breast on here, you can you can do that too. Okay, but I like to slice it up. Okay, and what I'm going to do with the waffles, we're going to just cut them in half. We're going to make one waffle here is going to be chicken. One waffle here is going to be turkey. Okay, what we're going to do on here is uh, with our chicken, just put a few slices right on top. Look at how nicely, nice this looks. How nicely browned it is on the outside and really succulent on the inside. Okay, just a little bit more there. And uh, with the turkey, if you, we'll, just, uh, we'll just take a nice cutlet like that. I put it right over here. Okay, now we're gonna kick it up. 
I have here, again, from our friends over at Honey Ridge Farm, Blood Orange Honey Cream. This is really, really nice. Taste of orange mixed in with honey. If you want to try to do an imitation of this at home, you can. Just take some honey, put it in a little saucepan, very low heat, add in, drizzle in a little bit of orange juice and orange, orange zest. Mix it up and you're gonna have uh, a nice orange honey. But I like, I really like this. And just you take this and we drizzle it right on top. This is the sweetness that the waffle is gonna need in addition to that little bit of sugar we put in there. And the sweetness balances out love beautifully balances out that um, spiciness that we have in the, in the uh, peppers and the cayenne. So let's just put everything aside here, okay? Working in a tight space, um, put the waffles over here. Now, what I'm gonna do on top of this though, to do a little garnish, by the way, some of your reserve marinade, if you want, you can just easily just put a little bit on top just to, just to add a little little glaze to it. And we're gonna take a little bit of toasted sesame right on top. And I actually have here a little bit of uh, the green onions cut on kind of a bias and just to dress up the plate. And that's gonna go really, really nice in here. And so there we have it, my Buffalo Southern unfried chicken and turkey on a waffle. Uh, really, really, this is a, a great little surprise dish that um, you can make at home, and I, and I love it, and the family loves it. I want to thank everybody uh, that uh, made all this possible, besides uh, you out there watching. Uh, our friends over again at Honey Ridge Farms for their, their great honey creme straight from Oregon. Uh, our friends over at De La Rosa for their wonderful toasted sesame oil. And by the way, check out their olive oils and their avocado oils and, and uh, tahini and stuff like that. Really, really good stuff. Our friends over at kosherwine.com, by the way, uh, if you don't want to use the, uh, the white uh, chosen barrel Sauvignon Blanc, uh, you want to go with a little, something a little bit different, I like their Casa de Cielo Pinot, uh, Pinot Noir Reserve, which is really, really nice and fruity and uh, will go great with the uh, turkey or chicken and of course our turkey and chicken from Cole Foods. My opinion, the healthiest meat in America pastured out there, no antibiotics, no growth hormones, fed organic feed, by the way. Um, so you're really eating uh, great stuff and you're really getting the flavor of the bird as well as all the uh, spices and flavorings that we're doing here. The flavor of the bird really comes through and, st and stands out with, the, with their meat, I can't say enough. Uh, and so uh, I guess rather than keep rambling on, I'm gonna say goodbye. By the way, make sure you, you like the video, subscribe to uh, my YouTube page, uh, like my Facebook page, and do all that social media stuff that you guys are so good at and I'm not so great at. At any rate, uh, until next time, uh, look high.